What's up and welcome back to The Defined Lens. Today we cover the very first Photoshop tutorial, so let's get straight into that right after this intro. It is always fascinating to edit a photo and make it stand out by doing just a little bit of photo manipulation. The crazy thing is, this effect is not that hard to achieve even if you're a total amateur when it comes to Photoshop. So before you even get started, make sure you take two images, one with your subject and one with just the background. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So go ahead, open up Photoshop and let's get started. I'll first have to get to my desktop, so I'll see you guys in just a bit. Back at the office, I've just opened up both images in Photoshop. The first image is of my subject and my second image will be of just the background. Now it's extremely important that you make sure you take two images while your camera is on the tripod when you try and achieve this effect. Starting with the first image, you are going to need to cut out the middle part of your subject. In this case, I'd like to leave both hands there just so that I can achieve this effect and then I'm going to cut out the middle part of her body and insert the background into my image. To start cutting out the middle part of the image, go ahead and select your magic wand tool. You can select a rough selection of the, of the subject and then just make sure you filter out everything that, that you don't need to cut out. So the top part here, I'm not going to cut that out. Um, I'll leave the whole branch there as well. So let's go ahead and select everything. Okay, so I made my rough selection of everything. I'm just going to go into the manual selection tool. Not sure what that name is though, but it's just above the magic wand tool and select everything in a bit more detail so that the branch is cut out correctly. <laughs> Okay, great stuff. I'm happy with that result. The next step is to just right click on your image, select inverse, go over to your select and mask, which is on the top of the screen. Just make sure everything is cut out once more. And then you can play around with your transparency, your radius, smoothness, feather, contrast and shift edges. Once you've played around with the settings, you can select output mode to new layer with layer mask and click OK. In this case, it's going to add a new layer and keep the background image as well, just for reference purposes. Finally, go over to your next image, select the whole image, Control X to cut and Control V to paste. Make sure that your new layer is below the background. As you can see, I can't move anything. Easy fix, just right click on your background image, select layer from background, click OK and move it below the whole picture. Now this background layer, I'm not going to need that anymore, so just delete it. As you can see, immediately that effect is starting to appear. The only thing here is color correction and smoothness that I need to play around with. So let's zoom in here and start fixing the details of this image. Selecting my eraser tool while selecting the top image just to smooth out everything a little bit more. Okay, 
Okay, and there you have it. Once everything is smooth, you can start playing around with the color correction. So select your bottom layer, head over to image adjustments and go to match color. From here, you need to select your source. In my case, the source is the top image and the background copy. Play around with the luminance. I think I'll keep that around 100. The intensity of the color needs to go down a bit to around something like that. And then you can play around with the fade as well. In this case, a luminance of 104, a color intensity of 28, and a fade of 12 is going to work perfect. So hit OK and your effect is completed. An optional step would be to go ahead and color correct the whole image now. In this case, I'm happy with the result, so I'm just going to leave it as is. That's it for today's video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed watching. And as always, be defined.